jobs for hundreds of thousands of construction workers. Joining me now is Senator Bernie Sanders, independent from Vermont. Senator, thanks for coming on the show tonight. Let me ask you, is this latest jobs vote just one more example of how Republicans are refusing to get people back to work? Absolutely, Al. It is a total outrage that when we have 25 million Americans unemployed or underemployed, when we have an infrastructure which is crumbling, 25 percent of our bridges are structurally deficient, roads all over America need work, our rail system is way behind Europe, Japan, even China. We need to do the work. We can't get one Republican vote to help us rebuild the infrastructure and put people back to work. What's really interesting, Al, is the Republicans keep taking positions in absolute defiance of what the American people want. That's right. Poll, poll after poll says, let's rebuild our infrastructure. Poll after poll says, we want the richest people in this country to start paying their fair share of taxes. Republicans are saying that we can't get one Republican vote to rebuild the infrastructure and ask the wealthy people in this country to start paying for it. Yeah, not one Republican vote, but what, what you mentioned polls. Let me show you this poll that is even more alarming than the polls that you are rightly quoting about support for infrastructure redevelopment. The poll of voters in Florida, not just uh, uh, of regular voters, but the voters in Florida, key state, 49% of the voters say they believe that Republicans are trying to tank the economy on purpose. Almost half the voters in Florida think they are purposely trying to tank the economy to defeat this president. Well, I think that 49% are pretty much right. You know, I heard John Boehner a moment ago talking about they're trying to create jobs. That is totally absurd. They're doing nothing to create jobs. They're obstructing every single effort out there. All they have is their old mantra, more tax breaks for the rich and large corporations. That will create jobs. Al, we saw that movie during the Bush administration, and they lost 600,000 private sector jobs after eight years of Bush. Now, you know, go ahead. No, that's okay. Now, when, when you talk about they, they are, uh, uh, with Boehner and what they're talking about in terms of jobs, when you mentioned what their plan is and what Mr. Boehner uh, is discussing, look at the Senate plan for jobs. This is what they propose to create jobs. Their plan, delay EPA rules on harf harmful emissions, delay current and pending federal regulations, require congressional approval for new federal regulations. It's all deregulation right. and it's all, let's just you, neutralize or negate EPA from doing anything. It has nothing to do with creating active jobs for the unemployed in this country. Well, Al, if we appreciate, as the Wall Street occupiers do, that we are in the midst of this horrendous recession today, 16% real unemployed, because we deregulated Wall Street and we let these people do whatever they wanted to do, which included selling worthless securities, which drove us into this recession, you might think that our Republican colleagues would have learned a thing or two about the necessity for regulation. But they haven't. It is really quite extraordinary. Well, I think you are right. I, I like you, have supported the people in, uh, that have raised the right issues in this Occupy Wall Street uh, uh, movement. I also hope we occupy...